Coming up on Look Today, well, the Lake George Park Commission announces mandatory training for those who rent boats. Tell me that's not a good idea. And authorities make a record drug bust in our capital region. More on that coming up. And the 44th annual Balloon Festival kicks off. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone and happy Friday. I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Marty DeVitt. He's the owner of Thermal Associates in Glens Falls. And he's here to talk about the science of thermal energy applied to heating and cooling systems. It's very interesting. I also sit down with Ed Bartholomew. He's the president of the Glens Falls Economic Development Corporation. He's here to talk about the revitalization project in Glens Falls. Plus we've got your weekend weather for the Tri-North Counties. But first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the Lake George Park Commission announced this week that people who want to rent boats will have to go through a training program. Now, because of multiple boating accidents that happened this summer in Lake George, Warren County legislators have taken action. Under the Park Commission program, boaters will take part in basic hands-on training. Well, we spoke to Dave Wick. He's the executive director of the Lake George Park Commission. Yeah, so currently we have 28 marinas on Lake George that rent boats, and they all have some level of safety training prior to the operators going out on the lake. Uh, what this effort is is just to try to standardize that and make sure that everybody's receiving the same level uh, of information uh, that's out there. Um, our patrol uh, has been out there a number of times this year on the lake, and we've had a few incidents that um, you know, we're a little unfortunate, and it's not just uh, the rental boaters, but it's all the public. But this is an opportunity for us to make sure that the rental boats are receiving all the same level of training out there. Well, as someone who has been boating on Lake George for over a decade, that's a really good idea. Switching from news to weather. Well, today saw some overcast skies, so we can expect some rain tonight and cooler temperatures over the weekend. So let's see how the weekend is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, authorities in New York State have made a record-breaking drug bust. Police have seized 33 kilos of heroin and 2 kilos of fentanyl in the capital region. Now, around 25 individuals living in different states are linked to this drug trafficking ring and are under investigation. Uh, we're telling you about this as we received information, but we will definitely keep you updated on this story as well as the heroin epidemic and how it's affecting our community. Congratulations to law enforcement. In other news, well, the 44th annual Adirondack Balloon Festival kicked off yesterday. Twenty hot air balloons took off from Cranell Park in Glens Falls. Now, the festival takes place each year at the airport in Queensbury. We spoke to Mike Del Signor, who's attended the festival for the last 19 years and is a balloon owner. Uh, they have about 85 balloons this year that are supposed to be here, and they're going to be doing two flights a day, uh, one in the morning, one in the evening, uh, starting tomorrow, or actually starting this evening here at the airport, and continuing through Sunday, which will end at Crandall Park um, Sunday afternoon. You know, we heard the balloons. They flew right over our house, and let's just say the cat noticed that there was an unusual sound going on outside. Up next, I sit down with Marty DeVitt. He's the owner of Thermal Associates in Glens Falls, and he's here to talk about the science of thermal energy applied to healing and cooling. It's a very interesting interview. Plus, I also sit down with Ed Bartholomew. He's the president of the Glens Falls Economic Development Corporation. He's here to talk about the revitalization project in Glens Falls. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? And you can give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Well, I got a bunch of lookouts tonight. Uh, first and foremost is Friday. So I want to thank Jessalyn and Drew and Andrew, Jack and Joel and Norm for making this show possible 
each week. Play-by-play uh, -play tonight, uh, tonight is a great game at South Glens Falls versus Queensbury. You can catch all the action beginning Sunday afternoon right here on Look TV. I also want to congratulate uh, the authorities on this drug bust. We found out that this is the biggest in 47 years. And considering the epidemic, the opioid epidemic, heroin epidemic, fentanyl, this is a serious bust, and hopefully it'll make a dent in this epidemic. Um, also, the Balloon Festival is this weekend. If you've never been, you've got to go. It's amazing. Go early in the morning because the balloons tend to go up at sunrise when the wind is calm, and uh, it's really quite a sight with the sun coming up. And also, we've been telling you all week about the Peace Fair, and that's going to happen this weekend also in Saratoga. So as you can see, there's a lot going on, and of course, we left a lot out. Uh, main thing is have a safe weekend, everybody. And don't forget, you can tune in Monday night for the stories that matter to you. Have a nice weekend. Good night.